Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can pass HTML with your c -sharp application. And for this I am using a library called HTML Agility Pack. As you can see it's an open source and free library. If you go here you can get all the information. And as you can see you can read from the web or um, you can read from a file that you have in your local machine or you can read from a string as well. Now let's switch back to my Visual Studio and uh, start writing some code. And before writing the program, I should install the NuGet package for HTML Agility Pack. So let me search for it here. As you can see, you can install this one for your project. Okay, I'll just install it. Uh, going back to my console application and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use this object for loading um, an HTML page. Here you can provide the website that you want to load. For this I'm going with this example website it's called example.com and if you look into the HTML structure of it it's a simple HTML structure. You have in the highest level you have the div tag and you have an h1 and you have a p here. So we're going to try to extract this one and this one. So I'm going back to my c -sharp application and I'm going to insert this here, right? And then what I'm going to do is extract the title like this. It's going to be, I'm going to access document node and I'm going to select nodes. And since this is a simple HTML structure, I can just type it from my hand and get the first element and I'm going to access the inner text of it. You can access it in HTML as well like this and I'm going to create a copy of it and I'm going to change this to description like this and let's switch back to my uh, HTML page and it's just a p tag and change it to a p tag. So let's preview what we have done like this. Now let me run this application and see the results. Yeah, as you can see, I'm reading the title and I'm reading the description as well. Now that we know how to work with a simple HTML page, let's try to do a little bit more advanced one. So I'm going to close this and I'm going back to my browser and I'm going to close these tabs and let's try to extract the content of this page. So let me copy it and paste it in my console application like this and let's switch back to Wikipedia page and uh, see what I want to extract. So what I want to extract is this title here and these paragraphs. So these are the things that I want to extract. So let me go back cancel application and this I am going to change like this so basically what I'm going to what I need is the X path for accessing this item so I'm going to access it I'm going to press um, control shift and C and I'm going to access it like this and I'm going to right click on it and go into copy and uh, copy X path right like this and then I'm going to uh, paste it in a notepad like this and I'm going to um, add some escape characters to it. So this contains the uh, X path for accessing this element. So let me switch back to my console application and paste it here. Right, so with this I can access the title of the um, HTML page. Next, let's try to access the paragraphs this I'm going to change this to paragraphs and let's go to my HTML page again and press ctrl shift C and access these paragraphs I'm going to right click on it and go to copy and copy export and again I'm going back to my console application and I'm going to paste it here and since I want all the paragraphs not just the second one I'm going to copy uh, I'm going to remove the second one. I'm going to copy this and before that I'm going to add some escape characters to it like this and let me paste it on my console application. Now 
yeah as you can see I'm it's document node and select nodes and here yeah, I'm replacing that and I don't want the first one um, meaning that I want everything that is in um, that is that matches this XPath definition so if I go here as you can see I'm reading the paragraphs here I am uh, printing the, the title of the page and now what I want to do is print all the um, things in the paragraphs so let me do something like this so I will see everything in paragraphs so now let's run it and see what happens as you can see I'm reading the title successfully and I'm getting a list of paragraphs as well and if I run this and see the console application as you can see I have successfully read all the paragraphs of the document hope you learned something new today if you have any questions or comments you can leave down below you can subscribe to my channel as well and thanks for watching